Hey guys, uh, it's M Awesome here. I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the second generation iPod Touch uh, with the firmware 2.2.1. So here's my iPod Touch. If you can see that, I don't know. Okay, so you're going to need to download the Cywood, the jailbreak helper. I'll have that a link in the description and the iPod firmware, the iPod 2.2.1 firmware. So you're gonna need to download those two things. So first, extract your folder to your desktop, the Cywood folder. Extract it so that it's just a normal folder like that. Click on it. You're gonna want to drag the firmware into this folder right here. All right. So after you've done that, open up the Cywood. Oh, uh, one thing: if you're running Vista, you have to click on Install, and then right-click on LibUSB, go down to Properties, and then you're gonna go to Compatibility. You're gonna wanna click, check this box off, and then you're gonna wanna go to this arrow here and click on Windows XP. All right. So. Once you've done that, then you're good to go. So open this up. Uh, if you don't already have these installed, then you want to click on this and then click on that. Install them both. Make sure you have those installed or this won't work. Uh, so go to next step. All right. So what you're going to do here is you're going to click on the iPod restore IPSW file. You're going to click on that and then you're going to go to start making IPSW file. and this is going to come up. So this will take a few minutes. Basically all it's going to do is uh, it's going to make your uh, jailbreak the jailbreak uh, file f that you need. So this will take a couple minutes. Once this is done then I'll come back. Okay guys I'm back now so you're going to go back into the Cywood if you exited you should have the uh, jailbroken folder there. So, go there. So you're going to skip, skip, go to step three. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your iPod into DFU mode. So, first, hold down the power button right here and the home button right here. So for about ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you, until you hear the chime, then let go. And then you're going to hold the home button only. So let go of the power button. Hold the home button. Until you hear the chime again, then let go. Okay, so after that, you're going to go to upload DFU file. Just click on it. That should, it should look like that. So you're going to unplug your iPod. Okay, for about two seconds, and then you're going to plug it back in. Hang on a second, so I can just plug it back in here. Okay, so I plug it back in, and now a white screen should pop up, just like that. Okay, so if you don't have the white screen, you got to do that again, or check if you have the libUSB and the other thing that you downloaded at the beginning. Alright, then click on upload own patch. And then it should like do that thing there. Next step, you're gonna click on the press me. Okay. And then you're gonna right click and then you're gonna click paste. So it's gonna do this. Should take a few seconds. Um, if iTunes pops up, just keep on exiting it. It doesn't really matter. Mine doesn't pop up because I turn, I change the settings on my iPod. So, okay, once that's done, then you're gonna hit. Oh no, you're gonna want to open iTunes. Okay, and then Wait a second while my iTunes opens here. Oh, 
Okay guys, now that you're back on iTunes, you're going to go to your store, but don't click it yet. You're going to hold shift, okay. You're going to hold shift, and then you're going to click on the restore button. Okay, so at the same time, you want to move your, okay, I got to use two, I got to drop the camera for a second. So you're going to hold shift, and then click restore. Okay, like that. You can't really see what I just did, but. And then this should pop up, Cywood, the Cywood folder. And then you want to click on your jailbroken IPSW file. Okay, and then open. Okay, so once that's done extracting and downloading, then I'll come back.